Hello, it's JP, and today I'm going to show you how we captured those water drop images in our last post. We had a lot of email come in asking for a video on how those were captured. And this is the first time we've had an opportunity to get the video shot, so let's get right into it. Uh, what we did was we started off with camera mounted on a tripod. We have a macro lens that's attached to it. What we're using here is a Canon 7D with a 2470 uh, 2.8L macro lens attached. We have a external uh, speed light flash that's sitting here off to the side. We're controlling the flash with uh, a set of pocket wizards. If you don't have a set of wireless transmitters, you can use a cord. If the flash will, if the flash model you have will accept an external PC link cord that'll connect straight to the camera. And if you don't have the ability to get the camera off the camera to an angle, you can use the camera right on top of the camera, use the flash right on top of the camera to make this work. Um, my experiences have been that when you get this flash off the camera into an angle, you get a little better dynamic coloring. Now a lot of the questions that I got was how did you get the the blue and the orange and the various greens? Did you, did you play with the color in uh, Lightroom or something of that nature? And the answer is no. The only thing we did was we switched out that orange piece of paper with different colors. So we had we had green and we had purple, we had a bunch of different colors. And just by putting that up, the color of the reflection coming off that flash is what created all those dynamic colors. Now where the water is dripping in is nothing more than a plastic container with about an inch and a half, two inches of water in it. Uh, I'm using a clear one here for the video, but I would recommend using a black one. You can use a, uh, some of those paint liners that fill the paint trays, uh, a black one. Something that's dark will work best. I've used my back, uh, backdrop stands to hang a bag of water so that that can fall off. You can also notice there's a little uh, infant syringe there that you could use to uh, force water drops out. But in this case, with this bag, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can get a little better see on that. It's just going to drop a drop of water out at a continuous rate. Use a really small pin to create that hole. Don't use a scissors. We want as small as hole as possible otherwise the water comes out at too fast of a rate. Now I have a um, a soft box over here providing some light. That light is simply there just for the video. It's not going to be used when we take the picture. So let's look at the flash settings. We've got the flash in a manual mode at 1 16th power. Setting the uh, flash at 1 16th power is going to allow the flash to fire multiple times without delay and it's going to provide adequate enough light uh, bouncing off the construction paper to illuminate the drop. Okay, let's take a look at the camera settings. We've got the camera set at 1 250th of a second from a shutter speed. That's going to match up with the sync speed of the flash. Uh, F13 at ISO 200. We've got the drive rate set to the highest rate, so we're going to get the maximum frames per second. Okay, now since we've got the f-stop set to F13, it's going to give us a deep area of focus as the drop is coming down. So what we want to do is, with the camera that's on the tripod, we're going to focus right where the drop's hitting. And one quick way to do that is just get a pencil or a pen or some object and put it right into the water, right where the drop is hitting and then make sure the camera focuses in a uh, auto mode on that, comp on that spot. Once you've got the focus set, then set the focus back to manual focus so that as you're taking the picture, the camera doesn't start to hunt and peck for the uh, focus spot. Okay, we've got the camera focused, we've got the flash settings and the camera settings all ready to go. And if you can look into the container, You'll see every once in a while a drop falling into the container. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the shutter and as the drop is falling we're going to click and hold the shutter so that it takes several frames simultaneously or right in a row rather and we're going to see what we capture. Now the images that we caught last time we took about maybe 10-15 minutes to capture those and we'll switch out the different backgrounds to get different colored effects and we'll show you what each of those do. Just as each drop falls, we'll just grab and hold the shutter. 
There we go. So we've got maybe 20 images or so there, and we'll see see how those turned out. Now we'll go ahead and change the background out. Go ahead and go with the purple background. And we'll watch as the drops fall, as just as they about halfway falling, we'll grab the shutter. There you go.